guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make vanilla cupcakes from scratch with an amazing raspberry buttercream frosting. They're easy to make, they're cheap, they're a total crap pleaser, everybody loves them, and they look, look how beautiful they look. I mean, seriously. Let's get in the kitchen, let's start cooking, and let's start wowing some people. Let's do it. You'll need some all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, room temperature on salted butter, whole milk, some salt, baking powder, you need eggs, and vanilla extract. And in a little bit, I'm gonna show you the remaining ingredients to make the raspberry buttercream that we're gonna put on top. All right, first thing you're gonna do is take your butter. It's one stick of unsalted room temperature butter, very important, and your one cup of sugar. And we're gonna cream this together till it's nice and fluffy and creamy smooth. It's gonna be a little bit loud, but here we go. My sugar and butter are nice and creamy. Now I'm gonna add in two whole eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now these are really yummy vanilla cupcakes, so you wanna make sure you give a nice amount of vanilla. All right, back on. My butter, sugar, and egg mixture is nice and fluffy. Now make sure you use a spatula and just from the bottom up, just scrape it down. You want everything to be really well incorporated. Now we're gonna add in the all-purpose flour and the baking powder and salt. Now, the salt is very little amount. It's only a, an eighth of a teaspoon, but I always put salt whenever I'm making anything sweet because it, you, it, it acts the same way it does when you put it in savory dishes. It brings out the flavors of the ingredients. So, always add salt even when you're making dessert. It makes a huge difference. So, I'll put this on on low, otherwise you'll get a big poof of flour. And then slowly, we'll add our milk. And this is gonna be a really dense, kind of batter. It's not going to be a smooth, liquidy batter. It's going to be really yummy, moist cupcakes. And you want to make sure not to over mix. Otherwise, you'll get bread instead of cupcakes. It'll be really too tough and dry. That's it. See that? Just enough to have it incorporated. Perfect. This is like the perfect batter. There are no lumps, and even if there are a couple little lumps, it's just fine. The one thing you don't want to do is ever it's over mix whenever you're making any kind of cake batter unless it's bread because bread you do over mix it so make sure your oven's preheated to 350 guys otherwise you're not going to be able to go anywhere until it's done okay now this is going to make 12 cupcakes and i'm going to use my handy dandy ice cream scooper to fill them up because it fills them up perfectly every time look at that I'm just gonna do the remaining cupcakes. I filled my cupcake liners with my batter and now I'm gonna pop these in the preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just in about 20 minutes, take a, take a toothpick, insert it in the middle, if it comes out clean, it's done. And you wanna make sure not to overfill these. You wanna fill them about three quarters of the way, you know, full, and then they'll rise just a little and be perfectly even with the cupcake liners. Remember, these are cupcakes, not muffins. So pop these in and then let them cool before we start with our buttercream, with our raspberry buttercream frosting. Now my cupcakes came out of the oven. They baked for 20 minutes exactly. And now let them cool for about 45 minutes because I don't want them to be remotely warm when I put the buttercream frosting on it, otherwise it won't melt. Okay, for the frosting, what we're gonna need is one stick of room temperature unsalted butter. Put this right into my little mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna put in one pound box of confectioner sugar. Okie doke. Now everything's gonna get mixed together, so it doesn't matter what you put in first or any of that. Now I love buttercream frosting on my cupcakes, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and this is so good. Oh my goodness. And it, wait till you see how beautiful they look when they're done. So I'm gonna put in about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let me grab a spoon, a pinch of salt before I forget. Remember, always put a little salt into anything you're making, even if it's sweet. 
And then we're gonna put in about a half cup of raspberry preserves. I like to use one with a little seeds in it because it looks so beautiful on the cupcakes. So let's add that. I have all my ingredients in my mixer. So now I'm going to just all in low, otherwise of a powder sugar all over your face. So start on low until everything is like getting to be mixed up and then switch to sweet speed up to medium. Now what I have here is a disposable piping bag. I love using these because if you've ever used real piping bags, they smell awful if you use them for the first couple times because you get to clean them and stuff and they're kind of a pain to clean. So disposable ones, cheap, and I love them. And I have a beautiful star tip, just like a beautiful big star tip and I'm gonna pipe the frosting on the top just because it's gonna look beautiful. I have some fresh raspberry to doll it up with. And I'm just gonna put, you see how beautiful these cupcakes came out? Look at that, they're perfect. And don't you love my cupcake flyers? Can you tell my favorite color's pink? All right, I'm gonna put a few of these on here. Got my cupcakes lined up. Frosting, done. Oh, look at that consistency. That's gonna be like piping heaven consistency. Come on, look at that. I can't wait to eat one of these. It's so good. Okay. Let me just get that stirred. Just give it a nice little mix. Look at the color. Oh. I'm just going to put some of this in here. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes so good. Okay. Practice test. Beautiful. Now, you can do this however you want. I just like to go around and just build it around the edge and work your way in. Just like so. I'm just going to continue to do these and then we're going to top them with my fresh raspberries and then I'm, you can bet that I'm going to eat one right away. I'll do this last one for now. Look how beautiful. Now I'm gonna take my lovely little raspberries. I mean, come on. Wouldn't someone think you went to a fancy bakery and got these? Only if they knew. So easy to make. And they look beautiful. Just gonna finish dolling these up. My mouth is watering to have one. Here we go. Now you saw how easy this was and you have to promise me that you go in your kitchen and you make one because why wouldn't you want to? Look how beautiful they are and they're so good. And you know, I can't resist. I'm going in for one. Look at the moistness. Look how moist. If I get anything on my face, please don't laugh. Mmm. Mmm. The buttercream, the best buttercream you'll ever have. The cake is moist. Mmm. I'm Laura Vitale. Go to my website at www.laurainthekitchen.com to get this exact recipe with all the ingredients and the measuring and all that and get in your kitchen and make these right away because they are so divine. I'll see you next time. Bye.